Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use one of our favorite tools here at 22 apps called Canva. And Canva has a lot of different online trainings you can go through, but we wanted to do this quick um, and simple training, which will show you how to use it for uh, simple purposes for 22 apps. So basically Canva is another is a software by another company um, that happens to be free or at least free to um, start designing things and creating things and basically it is a graphic software that will let you create for at least 22 apps purposes things like your lo your app icon things like your splash screen it'll help you with um, editing your image files that we are or screenshots that we're going to be submitting to Apple and Android. Um, it will help you with all sorts of things to do with 22 apps, as well as maybe even coming up with additional images that you can put directly in your app uh, and make it that much more fun and engaging uh, throughout the entire app experience. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited too, uh, as we dive into this uh, simple um, start here training for Canva. Um, basically, what you need to know about Canva uh, for the purposes of using it with 22 apps is um, let's say that we were going to add our logo or our splash screen or something like this. For the purpose of this, let's say we wanted to um, update our splash screen. So um, in that case, we would want to take a look at what size of image do we need to create in Canva for our splash screen. And in this case, it, it would be 1242 by 2436 and it also says it needs to be a PNG. And um, just as a general rule for anything within 22 apps, uh, like uh, the splash screen and the logo and screenshots and this kind of stuff, um, you want it generally to be a PNG file and you generally want it to have no transparency, <clears throat> meaning that you don't want the background to be transparent. It's okay if you have images in your app that are transparent or have a transparent background, but when it comes to the splash screen and logo, you generally want a PNG file with no transparency. And so we wanna go into Canva and set this on up. So uh, we, we in Canva, uh, how to do this is you click create design in the top right and you're gonna click custom size and you're gonna enter the design, the size that it recommends in 22 apps. So <clears throat> 1242 by 2436. So 1242 by 2436. And we'll click create new design. And this will pop up and it'll allow you to start customizing, well, in this case, your splash screen. So. For the purpose of, purposes of this, I'll kind of just show you around the general Canva builder. If you tap on the background, um, you will notice that you can change the color of the background up here in the top left. <clears throat> We're gonna keep it white though you can change it to any color you want. If you want to add uh, your own images, you can find any image files within your computer and you can simply drag and drop those images onto uh, the Canva uh, builder. Uh, so like if I wanted to ha have my logo on Canva, all I'd have to do is simply drag on my logo and it would appear on the, um, on the canvas within Canva. So for, for example, let's say I wanted to create a very simple splash screen where I have my logo in the middle, and then um, maybe I have actually a picture background. So I can type apps, and you can see here that they have, when you type in it under elements, so you can see here the main tabs are uploads and elements, you can type here under elements, um, any keyword and it'll come up with a bunch of photos and different things that you can use in your design. So I have here uh, all photos, graphics, videos, and audios. So the main thing is photos and graphics. <clears throat> so graphics are more like icons or um, uh, illustrations and photos are generally more real photos. So um, I might type um, uh, texting and I might use a photo of somebody texting. That might be good. This could be good for a splash screen. This, uh, this woman texting on her phone, and then maybe we can add, uh, it's a little bit hard to see the 22 apps banner, so we can uh, come over back to elements, and we can grab a shape, so we can type square into 
the uh, builder and we can grab this little square and we can maybe make it white and then you can drag things around really however you want in Canva and you can also resize them by clicking on these little resize and dragging uh, buttons. So then what I'll do is I wanna put this behind my 22 apps logo so I can see it better. So I'm gonna put it right here, but you'll see it, it's currently not behind, which is not what we want. So you can click on in the top right, the position button, and you can send, send it backwards. And there, now we can see the 22 apps logo. And that actually looks pretty good as a splash screen. Then when you're done, if I wanted to upload this as my splash screen, I can go ahead and easily save this image file by clicking download and I can click download and it'll start downloading that image file right onto my computer. That's the beauty of Canva is it really lets you, I'll just save this, is it really lets you create beautiful designs um, in a really simple and easy way. So the, the again, to recap, the tips that you'll want to know for this is um, uh, you can, uh, add any of your own image files, including your logo or your um, uh, your picture, simply by dragging it into Canva. Um, you can find all of your uploads under the Uploads tab if you want to add them again. You can see like this. Uh, you can also delete images by clicking this delete button in the top right. And then if you want to add any elements, photos, graphics, uh, anything like this, you can find that under elements, which makes it super, super easy to create everything you want when it comes to the uh, images and designs for your 22 apps app. I hope this has been helpful. This is a basic Canva tutorial. They have all sorts of other tutorials you can Google online if you'd like to get more into it. And this is more than enough to get you started. I hope this helped and I look forward to seeing your app published and seeing your success with 22 apps very soon.